As a spinal specialist, I'm often asked, how do you prevent spinal problems? And the answer to that is simple. Pick your parents properly. Genetics is probably the biggest risk factor for a spinal problem. And if your parents have a history of spinal conditions, then more than likely you're going to be predisposed to them. Now, there are some things we can do to help ourselves in understanding that our genetics is to date something we can't control. And the best things that we can do to protect ourselves, protect our spines, and give us the best outcome with whatever given genetic pool we have is to, number one, not use any nicotine products. Number two, to maintain appropriate conditioning of our muscles and our spines and our joints. To number three, use proper ergonomics in our activities. And the fourth is to maintain proper body weight and proper nutritional intake. So let me go through these specifically. Nicotine accelerates the rates that discs degenerate at. It increases the problems with healing of tissues, increases people's perception of pain. If they ever need pain medicine, it increases the amount of pain medicine they need to obtain relief. So nicotine is a real problem. It creates an anaerobic environment. That means no oxygen in areas of trauma, and that is what inhibits the healing. So nicotine, the worst thing you can do for your spine. Having said that, there are many other things that we need to take care of. Conditioning is, is the second thing I said. And conditioning is important that we maintain the proper strength of the muscles for the spine, not just the big muscles, but also the little muscles, the very specific muscles that protect neuro, a neuromotion segment. We also need to work on our flexibility, maintain joint mobility, the facet joints, the SI joints, our hip joints, knee joints, shoulder joints. All of those are crucial to how we're going to function. And then we need to maintain an overall aerobic conditioning which keeps our heart rate up, our, our body temperature up, keeps our flexibility up, and so all of that is important. The third part of this is proper ergonomics, and that means that we use proper posture when we stand, when we sit, that we lift things properly, that we have our workplaces set up properly, and that we're doing work that our body is built for. We don't want a little 90-pound man doing 100-pound lifting of, of objects at work all day long, he'll more than likely have an injury. So we have to build our body types to be appropriate for the work that we're going to do on either uh, an occupational basis or a recreational basis. And the last area is proper nutrition. Obesity is a big problem with increased stress on the back, so maintaining proper weight is important, but also the proper nutrition. We need the proper vitamins in our body to help our tissues heal. We also need calcium and vitamin D to maintain strong spines and prevent compression fractures, uh, collapse of the spine, and, and other health issues. So proper diet is there. So overall, we can do some things to help ourselves, and it's important that we take the time to, to maintain that uh, behavior.